Hello, I'm Tula. Since my brush collection seems to be growing, I thought I will try some of my brushes out, see what brush strokes I can get with them. And you are welcome to join me as I try each one out and share some thoughts about it. This is the Princeton Aqua Elite number no. 6 quill. It's imitation Kolinsky sable, so it's a synthetic brush. It's got a nice spring to it. It's not soft, but it's not too stiff. It has nice elasticity, and it's as if it knows what kind of shape it wants to make. This is different from softer brushes that you'll see in other videos. Now I notice that when I'm making these leaf shapes with the brush going away from my body I get these small hair markings that I'm actually quite liking and when I move the brush towards myself I get, um, I don't have them, I get a much more defined kind of shape. And you can see that when I'm mixing two colors on the brush, it gives really nice color variations. I'm marking the direction I was going in so that later on I can view this page and see what kind of lines I can get with this brush. I have to say this is not a comprehensive review, I'm only trying out brush strokes that I personally find useful and enjoy. And I'm working on the Lana, Lana Quarel cold pressed cotton paper, it's a beautiful paper that I highly recommend. For a brush of this size, I think the lines I can get with it are fairly thin and very consistent, which is good to know. And I can get very wide strokes going sideways. Now here I added too much water because we'll be able to see a bloom coming very soon. I'm finding out that I quite like the quill brushes, the ability to get of the to use the fine tip as well as a very wide belly is very convenient. I, I'm enjoying it. Look at this wide stroke I can get with it. I'm noticing a difference between the softer quills and this Kolinsky sable a little more elastic um, quill. It's here, it's like the brush is controlling my movements and helping me to create better shapes in a way. And you'll see in other videos that um, it's different with the softer imitation squirrel brushes. I think this brush is very nice for um, like grass blades. Even watching this now with you makes me want to pick it up and play with it some more. Here I was trying to create smaller leaf shapes and I got a lot of um, the small hairlines. So I'm trying, really trying now to, to have a defined shape, which I didn't get. I think if I go towards myself, then I can do that. So this is it. I would love to hear your thoughts about this brush or your experience with it. I hope it helps you in deciding whether to buy it or not. I would really love to hear 
anything you have to say about it. And if you liked or found this video helpful, I hope you consider liking it and subscribing to my channel. And you're welcome to watch other videos I'm making in this series in this playlist. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.